If you are a fan of Formula 1, you have probably heard pundits and commentators discussing the setup of a Formula 1 car throughout a race weekend. In this video, we will explain what is Formula 1 car setup and how teams perfect the setup for a race. Let's get started. There are many different circuits on the Formula 1 calendar, and the ideal car design for one track won't be perfect for another track. When Formula 1 teams talk about the setup, they're talking about the ability to fine-tune an F1 car, to make adjustments to it so that it gets maximum performance at all different circuits. While the fundamental design of the car can't be altered race to race, several parts of an F1 car can be adjusted to maximize performance. For example, minor changes can be made to the front and rear wing to impact cornering and straight line speed. Downforce can be controlled by adjusting the ride height, and the angle at which the tires go on the car can be adjusted to reduce tire wear. This is known as adjusting the tire camber. Several factors control how an F1 car is set up. These factors include the forecasted weather conditions, the nature of the corners, the length of the straights, expected tire degradation, and even how the car is expected to perform during the Grand Prix. For example, in 2021, Mercedes generally had a car set up that performed well in free air, but the car was not so good when stuck in a pack of cars. This setup was done since Mercedes likely knew that they would qualify towards the front of the grid and be a front-running team during the race. Now let's look at how an F1 team perfects the car setup. Work on the car setup begins well before the team arrives on the track. Drivers drive a virtual car on a simulator at the team's headquarters to gather data. Various different setups are virtually tested, and computer programs are also used to run simulations and calculate what would be an ideal setup. In addition, the driver and his engineer have detailed discussions about what would be an ideal setup based on data gathered from past races at the circuit. Any changes to the track are discussed in detail and mapped into the simulator and computer software. In the real world, based on data gathered, mechanics and engineers can make changes to the components that the team plans to bring to the race. For example, the rear wing and front wing design might be improved. This is typically referred to by commentators as bringing an upgrade. As you can see, a lot of work is done even prior to the driver getting in the car for the first practice on the Thursday of a Grand Prix weekend. This is why drivers often thank the people back at the factory and refer frequently to the hard work done at the headquarters for their success. Now you might be thinking, if everything can be perfected virtually, then what are the teams doing during the practice sessions? The answer to this question is that not everything can be perfected virtually. The weather conditions will likely be slightly different than expected. The tire degradation could be more or less than expected. And the driver might not feel comfortable in the real world with a setup that seemed ideal in the virtual simulator. In addition, a simulator cannot account for all the problems a driver will be facing during a Grand Prix. A good example in 2022 is pore poising. To understand the level of pore poising a car setup will have, live running time is required. This is why during the practice sessions, teams are gathering data from the hundreds of sensors that are on an F1 car. They test both long run performance as well as simulate qualifying runs to understand how the car will perform. In addition, the driver is constantly providing feedback to the team about how the car is performing and what changes need to be made. After three practice sessions, the goal of the team is to have a car setup that is optimized for qualifying and the race. Hope this video helped you learn about Formula 1 car setup. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video and consider subscribing to the channel for more great Formula 1 content. If you would like to support this channel, check the links in the description below.